What's up guys, Rex34 back with another video and today we have a pretty interesting one. I'm going to be showing you guys my deck from when I was a kid, about 6th grade and before that 5th grade I was like 11, 10. So I'm going to show you guys what I had put together and for the giveaway for this video. I'm giving away a Soul Exchange, oops, Mermail Abistius, a Secret Rare, and a Machina Fortress. This one is actually like, I'm not even, it's, I think it's from some sort of box or something. I'm not even sure where it's from, but it's pretty cool. All you have to do is like the video, be subscribed, and let me know about you guys' deck when you guys were younger. Let's say before you quit, before you really knew how to play Yu-Gi-Oh! So, I'm going to show you guys this. I've actually done this exact video before. It was a long, I mean, it was a while ago, back before I had a lot more subscribers. So, I think some of you guys have seen this, the, the long-time subscribers, but a lot of you guys have not. So, I think it'll be pretty funny to see. It didn't used to be in this deck box. This is actually a newer one. I used to have this other, like big one but it, it was nasty and it had these nasty sleeves so i actually replaced them i double sleeved them mostly they're, it's a bunch of commons half of them so it's kind of funny that they're double sleeved but first of all i had i always had this it wasn't actually in the deck but it was just it wasn't even a side like i didn't know what's about sideboarding so i just had this card okay what's going on so i had a neospatian fair flare scarab i guess i thought it was cool i don't know so that's in there but it's not in the deck I had one extra deck card, which is a Cyber Twin Dragon. So pretty cool from Cybernetic Revolution. I think w when I quit was around Cybernetic Revolution. This might have been the last set that I ever saw. Maybe Shadows of Infinity. I think that's after Cybernetic Revolution. So I had one Cyber Twin Dragon. I like the Cyber Dragons. I thought they were really cool. That's why I have a Cyber Barrier Dragon, which was actually an Ultimate Rare, which is actually pretty cool. I don't know where I got this from, but an Ultimate Rare First Edition. So that was like a hobby pack pull. I mean, I don't know if I pulled it or if I traded for it. There's a, you know, Nick up there. It's like moderate play, but still pretty cool that I had that in there. I also had two 10 Cyber Dragons. So I had a couple Cyber Dragons, which was sweet, both from the 10. The 10 version looks really good. So I thought I had pretty good taste there. So I had a couple Cyber Dragons. Then we get into some of the random, like, common stuff. I had Trap Jammer and Magic Cylinder. I had a lot of back row stuff. So when I was playing, by the way, guys, this was, I did not have a ban list legal deck. I'm just going to let you guys know. I didn't even know there was a ban list. So I'm just making, based on the cards I had, uh, Magic Cylinder, I loved this card. I thought it was so good. You know, just, they attack and you send it right back at them. So it was super good. I really like to stop stuff, like, when I would attack, because I knew I'm trying to use traps on people. So I'm like, if they use traps on me, I'm not letting it happen. So I had... I like how I've double sleeved this destroyed common, so it's kind of funny. We also had a Spear Dragon, which I thought was a really good card because of 1900. I always wanted to, I was basically a beatdown deck, is what I was running. Four star, even though it had to change the defense position, that piercing in 1900 was super strong. And 2300 Goblin Attack Force, so you guys see the beatdown. Luster Dragon, Luster Dragon, you know, these are just common cards. I had a Slate Warrior from the starter deck. Another Trap Jammer, so you see I was. Definitely trying to shut down the traps. I had a Torrential Tribute. Only the common version, but I did have it. Let me separate these. So yeah, I was I was trap heavy. I loved the traps. Fairy Box. So I was <laughs> Progression Series back in the day. I was I was carrying this Fairy, fairy Box. I, I, so I used that thing so they couldn't attack. Another Magic Cylinder. I did have the Archfiend Soldier in there because it's a 19 under 4 star with no debilitating effects. So pretty strong. Insect Knight. From, that's a Flaming Eternity 1900, so that's way later. I had a Super Rare Ancient Gear Castle. Basically, I ran only Ancient Gear Golem, but I had this in there for it. I guess I thought it was cool. I don't know. Then I had the Raigeki. Raigeki was always, I thought, the best card in the game. I remember seeing it the first time, and I was thinking, this card is insane. It literally destroys all their monsters just for free. You just play it, and it destroys. I don't remember where I got the first one. Maybe I traded for it. I can't remember. But as you can see, it does have two creases in it. I don't know if this was the first one I got or not, but I got a Raigeki. Then, by, as you guys see, first of all, I don't think Raigeki was even legal in 2006 for one, much less two. So I had two in my deck. I remember getting the second one. I was like, nobody can beat me now, <laughs> which they, never, they didn't really because I was probably because I was running two Raigekis. But uh, I always thought these were the best card like in the game. Then we got more shutdown cards. I had two Magic Jammers. I didn't like them to be activating anything. So Trap Jammers and Magic Jammers. I had two of both. Then I had the one and only Ancient Gear Golem. I was like 3,000, 3,000. It's blue eyes, but better. It does piercing damage. They can't activate spell of traps, you know, when it attacks or whatever. So that was a super good card. And I always liked that one. I had a Monster Reborn. This one was from Dark Beginning 1. So 
I have a bunch of Dark Beginning 1 cards, so I don't know if I opened it or, like, traded with someone who had opened a lot. I'm guessing that I opened some Dark Beginning 1. I got a Monster Reborn. My memory is absolutely horrible, by the way, from where I got these cards. Usually, I didn't get to buy too many packs, so I'm guessing that I was, like, gifted them maybe for Christmas or my birthday or something. So, Monster Reborn, Ultra Rare, obviously an amazing card, so it was a good card. Summon Skull, the one tribute, 2500. This one's also from Dark Beginning 1. Uh, I have this in PSA 10, so it's pretty cool because this is my original, you know, super rare version, which is definitely not a PSA 10. It's like a moderate play, I think. Most of my cards are. I did double sleeve them, actually, but I double sleeved them where it was like the sleeves were going the same way, so it almost did no good. But they were also really gross. So yeah, I had a Summon Skull. That was a pretty cool card. I also had the Blue Eyes White Dragon from DB1. This is probably people's least favorite art when you compare it to like SDK. DDS, which are the same art, but with different rarities, and then the LOB. People usually don't like this one too much, but I always really liked it. L or not LOB, DB1 Blue Eyes White Dragons, really cool. I ran it 3000, you know, 2006, that card was way power crept, you know, not good anymore, but I still had it. Then I have Change of Heart Metal Raiders. Yeah, so I'm, obviously Change of Heart was not legal, but I was playing it because obviously it's incredible and super good. Yeah, I'm not sure where this came from, but... I'm not sure if I pulled it or what. I, I remember I remember opening some Metal Raiders, so I, I, it's possible I did pull it. The centering on it is absolutely horrible, but pretty cool to still have it. Definitely not legal. I mean, I wasn't playing too illegal of a deck. Like, the only illegal things were I had the... I mean, these three cards make a huge difference, but it wasn't like I was playing, like, 15 illegal cards. The next card, you guys might have seen this... Might have seen this on my YouTube story. Shinado King of the Higher Plane. Yeah, check out that crease. By the way, I did not do that. I traded for this card, and it was already creased, but I won it anyway because, I mean, just check that out. 3,300. I was like, I got 3,000 on two monsters. I don't have any 3,300s. I didn't have a Mass Beast at that time. I didn't have a uh, Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon or a Beast Skull, so anything over 3,000, I was I was like, wow, that is a really, really good card. I got to get it. So I was like, this is a ritual, too. That's pretty cool. So I traded for this card. This is the Dark Revelation version, not the Dark Crisis version. But because of this card, I really like Shinado because I remember it. I do have a PSA 10 Dark Crisis First Edition version. So I got that because of this card. This Crease Destroyed card, which is pretty cool. I still have that one. Uh, where am I going to put this? Next, I have Shinado's Arc. Uh, this was, I got this from the same trade. Obviously, not very well kept, but you need it to play Shinado. Oh, speaking of banned cards. Not one. Not two. But I played three Cyber Jar. So I was... I was going to set him, and I was going to destroy everything on the field. I liked Cyber Jar. <laughs> that was pretty funny, because, like, the good thing about this, I was, like, I was thinking, if I set this, and they destroy it, I take up my five cards, and I play so many four-star 1900s to just whip all those out, then I'm going to be, like, I'm going to be dominating. I'm going to be killing them, because I have three Cyber Jars. Yeah, and I'm pretty sure that these were, I don't know if they were banned, or if they were just to one, but definitely not allowed to play three, so that's kind of funny that I had those. And Negate Attack, more traps that I like to use. I think I might have played three Negate Attack, which is pretty crazy. And then here's more Cyber Dragons. I got the Proto Cyber Dragon, and I was like, cool, it's a Cyber Dragon. Treat it as Cyber Dragon. And then here you can use Tribute Cyber Dragon get the uh, Cyber Barrier out. So I had two Cyber Dragons and the Proto Cybers so I could use this card on, which not a very good card, but I see why I did it. Okay, let's do that. The last few cards, I had a Magic Cylinder. I think that's the third copy or the second copy. I mean, that card was, in my opinion, I loved it. I mean, it's really not great. It's okay, but it's not great because it doesn't stop. Or it just stops one attack or whatever, so it's not too great. But I loved it. I thought it was really good. I think you can only play one, though, in, like, GOAT format. I'm not sure about after that, though. You guys will have to let me know in the comments. Then I had a Polymerization for, for the one Fusion Monster. Not the best decision to put that in my deck, but... Polymerization for one fusion monster. Cyber Gymnast, I really like this card because you just discard a card and destroy a monster on the field. So, it's pretty useful, actually. You know, you play that thing and if they have something you can't get around, they could just drop something and kill it. So, not too bad. And here we go. I'm sure Penguin Soldier guy will love this. We had a Penguin Soldier in the deck, guys. I believed in Penguin Soldier as a kid. I believed. You flip this thing up, you return two cards, monster cards. That's strong. I was like, Penguin Soldier can stop. Pretty much anything. So I like that card. And then I did have a Witch of the Black Forest, which was also not legal. So I did have some illegal cards. Got Witch of the Black Forest. Overall, I had three Cyber Jar, which were not legal. And then I had these cards. So I, 
Eh, not, not a very fair deck. That's probably why I was winning everything. Raigekiing everyone. Magic Cylinder every time. I, did I even play Sakuretsu Armor? I didn't play Sakuretsu Armor. See, that's just kind of the thing. I might have not have even had any. It's possible. See, Negate Attack. Not a great card, but I always liked it because it just shut down their attacks. But yeah, that is my... 2006 deck from when I was 10 or 11 years old. I had kind of a mix of everything, but overall it was basically a beatdown strategy with a few cards that I liked in there. And not, I, I would say, not the worst deck that I've seen. I've seen a lot worse decks. I usually did win games, probably due to having this, you know, these guys in there. That probably helped. But overall, probably not a great deck. Maybe one day we'll do a duel, and I'll duel with my old deck. I actually have some epic content coming up, including possibly some duels with older formats. I think you, not necessarily formats, but older sets. So I think you guys might enjoy it. Let me know if you guys want to see that. It'll be pretty fun. I also have some epic content coming up. I got some awesome openings that I know you guys are going to want to see because you've been asking for them. And I have a few other things in mind, but we'll see if I get to that or not. Also, thank you guys for watching. Make sure you hit this like button and the subscribe button if you enjoyed the content. And I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching. Peace. The original art. Yeah, yeah, yeah!